The private space is a feature that allows you to create a separate zone in your device that only you can access. On the lock screen, you can use your private space fingerprint to enter the private space and the owner fingerprint to enter the main space. Hello there portal friends and welcome once again to another tutorial episode here on Chatty Portal. So for today we are going to talk about private space. The private space feature of the Huawei Nova 3i which I think is also found on other Huawei devices. So how do you enable private space on your Huawei Nova 3i? Basically, all you need to do is go to the settings, look for security and privacy. This is where you can also manipulate your settings for fingerprint ID, face unlock, screen lock, and passwords. And of course, your private space. So now we have to click on enable and it will ask us to create a special pin for the private space. Now I will be creating my six digits pin and it will ask you to confirm your pin. And reminder, try not to forget your pin because there is no way to recover it if you do. And once you're done, you have to associate your fingerprint. Pin lock set associate your fingerprint to enable quick unlock. So let's click on associate. And it's another reminder that your fingerprint may be less secure than a complex pattern or strong pin. Okay. Now we will be enrolling our fingerprint. So you just basically have to press the fingerprint sensor on the back of your device. And once you feel a slight vibration, you have to lift and press your finger against the sensor again. And keep your finger and the fingerprint sensor clean. So let's do that. Now I already set this finger for my main space. Now I will have this finger for my private space. So when you try to remove your finger, you have to really. Press your fingerprint so that it will be recognized. So it says you press the edge of your finger against the sensor because it doesn't recognize the other finger yet. There we go. So it's successfully enrolled. And we have to click on. You can also rename your fingerprint. Like for this one, I'll rename it to private space and click OK. And now let's try to enroll on our private space. Let's use the pin first. This is actually my main space. So we'll try to plug in to our private space. And now this is how the private space looks like. 
Well, you can just change the theme and the wallpaper. And now we're going to use our fingerprint to turn on the private space. Now let's go to the settings again, which is on the security and privacy. And from the settings, private space settings, you can actually see the file transfer option. You can transfer files from main space to private space or private space to main space. So let's try transferring audio files. So this is from my main space. I will be moving it to my private space. So I'm done. So let's check the audio files that we transferred. Are you okay? We were able to successfully transfer the audio files from the main space to our private space. So aside from being able to transfer your files, you can also manage the settings of hiding your private space by clicking hide your private space it will notify you that after hiding the entrance to your private space you can restore it by going to settings security and privacy more and touching show all settings but let's not do that for now you can also reset your password through the password protection setting and you can copy your private space to a new phone by manipulating the space clone option. You can also quit your private space. You just have to click on the quit private space setting. And once you quit private space, it will switch to main space only. And all your private space data will be kept. Now, if you decide to delete your private space setting, I mean your private space feature, all the private space data will be permanently deleted. The good thing about having a private space, of course, is being able to hide or keep the things or files that you want to be private from your friends or from people who might borrow your phone because let's face it we have friends who loves to borrow our phone take pictures using our phone now when you have your private space you can set it for them and they have their own gallery for the pictures that they take and they won't be able to access the files that you have on your main space and they won't also be able to access the, the contacts that you have. The only downside is for the text messages, private space doesn't actually hide the text messages that you have from your main space. So I hope that Huawei can do an update on that so it can also be set to private. So that's it. We're now back to using our main space. If you have any further questions regarding the private space, you can comment down below. Or if you have any idea on how to hide the text messages that you have on your main space when you are using private space, please also comment down below. And if you like this video, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you!